Elijah? Elijah, you, you know it. It's just a living hell living with your dad. You know that, don't you? I mean, what man in his right mind would go and quit his job? And he was making six figures. Six figures, Elijah. It's a hell of a lot of money. And then, and then to top it all off, he's, he's lying to me. <clears throat> he's supposedly going to work. And he comes home late at night. I don't know where he is. He won't talk to me. He won't say anything. He's just a selfish, lying bastard, that's all. Elijah, you listen to me. When you get married, you take real good care of your wife. You hear me? Real good care. Because if you don't, she just might leave your sorry ass. I gotta go, Mom. What's on your agenda? I'll be with Daniel if you need me. You gonna be gone long? About an hour. Okay. Where are you going? Jeff, leave him alone. Catherine? Conley, shut the hell up! Eli can speak for himself. Uh, I'm going to Daniel's. You can disappear all day like usual. I'll be gone in just an hour, I promise. I promise. Jack, just leave the boat alone, please. Do not piss me off. <laughs> it is too early in the morning for this crap. Please do not piss me off. Get out of here! Get out of here! All right. Don't be gone too long, son. We got stuff to do around here. Responsibilities. We need to earn your key. Okay. So why do you want to buy a gun? It's none of your business, okay, Daniel? Look, I gotta ask, after that stunt you tried to pull last year, I don't Just think- Just stop! Okay, I'm fine. I know I tried to hurt myself, I get it, but I'm fine. I just don't think it's a good idea for you to carry around a gun. Daniel, just leave me alone, okay? What do you need protection from anyway? Your dad? It's my business, all right? We could get a quick round of fishing in if you want. No, I, I gotta get home. Eli? Yeah? Please be careful. I don't want your dumb ass to get hurt. I appreciate that. But seriously, dude, I care about you. Thanks. I know. Last few months, I just felt so distant from you. What happened to us? You have to understand the fact that we've started to meet other people. We grew up together. Eli, you are always going to be one of my best friends. I'm a loser, Florence. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I feel confident in saying it. Well, I don't think you're a loser. So, have you started to think about college yet? Not really, no. What about you? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to Alabama, actually. I scored high enough on my ACT to get in. I even got some scholarship money there. It's awesome. I'm really proud of you. I just don't know if college is for me, you know? Well, if you don't go to college, what are you gonna do? Damn, I don't know. What time is it? About 10.30, why? Oh, shit. I told Lucas that I'd come over to his place for breakfast. 
I can drive you over there. No, it's okay. It's not too far from here. I can walk you. No, you lie. It's just that if I show up to his place with you, he will literally kill me. Okay, sorry. Okay. Florence. Yeah, Eli? Why do you hang out with him? I don't think I have a good answer for that. Just tell me. I don't know, Eli. I really don't know. some damn videos online. Sit down in front of a cooking show for God's sakes because I'm sick and tired of eating hot garbage every night. I'm sorry. I, tr I tried. I tried. Oh, Jeff. Jeff, why don't you just leave? Leave Leave if you don't like it. Just leave me alone. Go. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Shut up. Man's world, Eli. Mm. We gotta make this thing go around. I mean, look at me. King of my castle. Mm. Man of the house. I gotta make sure things run ship shape around here. The trouble is, sometimes things don't go the way you want them to. But sometimes. Don't live up to their responsibilities. That's when you got to step in. You got to take charge. You take some leader. Wrong. Leader can never be indecisive. <laughs> you like that? Eli, wait. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for you to live like this. Look, when you get married, you just take good care of your wife. Don't let this happen. I didn't want you to be in this kind of environment. And, and I'm so sorry, but your father... He's not I my father. Growing up in this hellhole, I've never had a father. Has some pathetic bloodline loser to take the place of a father. I'm so sorry, Eli. And I've never had a mother before either. This is your fault. You let this happen. If you were my mom, you wouldn't let him hurt you. Quit giving him the satisfaction. I don't want, I'm afraid. So you're telling me Pete Rose should never be allowed in the Hall of Fame? That's exactly what I'm saying. Why not? The guy's a fraud. Oh, come on. The guy was a great American baseball player, plain and simple. Yeah, sure. He was MVP 15 times since his league debut in 1963. He helped the Reds go to the World Series, but he screwed up. He got greedy and started gambling on his game. Dude, it's Pete Rose. I don't care. All right. So what's your opinion on Homer Bailey? Trade it. Yeah, thanks. So when do you think Marty Brenneman's gonna die? What type of question is that? I mean, he's pretty old. It's about time he kicks the bucket. <laughs> I guess. What do you hey! think? This is the kid? Hey, 
Hey, goddammit, is this the kid you were talking to? Yes. Go back to the car. Dumb bitch. Hey, don't you call her that. Call her whatever I want. Hey, we don't... And I will talk to her however I feel like. You know why? Because that's my bitch, not yours. You know I stomp out little fags like you can't keep their noses on their face and insist in putting it in my business. So let me ask you, what's your problem? You, you're my problem. If you ever talk to Florence again, I'll kill you. Got it? Hey, Lucas! Stay vigilant, buddy. Dude, you gotta be careful. I don't care. He just threatened to kill you. you're gonna do you might flip your lid and do something really stupid what did he do to you Eli stop what did he do to you for it he asked me to come over so I did and when I got there he had been drinking a lot like he was so so drunk and when I realized how much he had been drinking of course I tried to leave but he wouldn't let me until I had sex with him. Did he hurt you? He grabbed me. And eventually I was able to get out of his hole. But then he started hitting me and throwing me around the house and his parents were gone for the whole week. Listen, I tried to call the cops, okay, but he broke my phone and he said he'd kill me if I told anyone. Eli, stop. Why? Why do you let him do this to you? Gosh, I have no choice. Okay, don't you understand? I love you, Florence. But damn it, I hate you for what you do to me. Goodbye, Florence. So can you tell me what happened? I heard my mom screaming from downstairs. My dad has hands around the neck. So I just walked up and hit him. What did he do? What does it look like? I'm sorry, dude. So where is your mom? She's at my aunt's place. Okay. Well, you can stay here. My parents don't care. Thanks, man. Hey, don't forget. Tomorrow's Halloween, and I don't care what you say, we are going trick-or-treating. Aren't we a little bit old for that? No. It'll be fun. Right. Good night, Daniel. Good night. I feel stupid. Yeah, I wouldn't feel so stupid if we weren't the only ones out. Yeah, I'll probably head home soon. Hey, you can stay at my place again if you want. Thanks, man. No problem. Lucas, stop! Get off of me! Get in the car. Not going home with you, kid. You're drunk. Lucas, please calm down, okay? Now listen. Get in the car. And we are going home.
Where is mom? She checked herself into a hospital. I got into it after she got home. I hate that woman. I wish I could just wake up to a new life. New home, new job, new wife. No, it doesn't. Exactly. You know, the other night after we had our little incident, I wanted to run you out of the house and kill you. Literally kill you. I got to thinking. What you did was genius. What do you mean? I mean, I realize that I've been teaching you right. You're going to turn out just like me. Father, like son.